Hi, I'm Kristen Harris, and you're watching Robert Houston's Western Swing Rules. One thing I love about Western Swing is that everybody has to use their ear. And kind of what I was um, saying earlier about uh, you can mm -hmm. play it all different ways, it's it, you're moving your chords based on what your ear is telling you and sometimes based on what the fiddle player is doing. Or, um, and so it's not ever a set in stone written music type thing. And that's what gets me excited about uh, the lead players when they're taking their solos because they're just improvising and using their ear and they'll do something that, you know, gets me more excited and I'll really get into my playing and it, that's what makes Western Swing so much fun and um, just because it's all this creativity just being born on stage all the time. So. I'm Kristen Harris. I'm a Western Swing performer and I'm going to do the classic Across the Alley from the Alamo. Across the alley from the Alamo lived a pinto pony and a Navajo who sang a sort of Indian hidey ho to the people passing by. The pinto keeps up his swishing flies while the Navajo watched the lazy sky. Very rarely did they ever rest their eyes on the people passing by. One day they went walking along the railroad track. They were swishing, not looking. Too, too, they never came back. Across the alley from the Alamo, when the summer sun decides to settle low, fly things the Indian hidey ho to the people passing by. Across the alley from the Alamo lived a pinto pony and a Navajo who used to beg for holies and cornmeal dough for the people passing by. Well, they thought that they could make some easy bucks by washing their for holies in does and lux. A pair of very conscientious clucks to the people passing by. They took this cheap vacation. Shoes were polished bright. Well, they never heard the whistle to toot. They're clear out of sight. Across the alley from the Alamo, when the summer sun decides to settle low, a fly sings an Indian hidey ho to the people passing by. Across the alley. I am here with Kristen Harris, fantastic young Western Swing performer. Uh, Kristen, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you uh, come to love and discover Western Swing? I discovered Western Swing about seven years ago, and uh, it was love instantly when I first heard it. Um, and it's really what inspired me. I wasn't playing or singing at all back then. I didn't. I wasn't a musician. And it's what made me want to play and learn to play guitar, is the swing style. And uh, I, I heard some old Bob, Mil Bob Wills music, and I was just hooked. And yeah. That was it, huh? That was it. So tell me a little about your playing on that song that we just heard, Across the Alley from the Alamo. Tell me about how you accompany yourself and what that's called. Um, well, the Western swing, style rhythm guitar is a lot of moving chords and moving the bass line around and it's what makes it really fun because you can play like a song really simple uh, like across the alley from the Alamo or you can play across the alley from the Alamo or you can play across the alley from the Alamo so there's a lot of different ways you can almost improvise with your chords and uh, especially when you get a whole swing band going it gets me really excited and I start you know experimenting with more fun stuff so um, so show me show me again how okay, you were just playing a simple chord then you were moving the chord a little bit and then you really moved the chord yeah um, it's just different what uh, 
it's the yeah it's moving the bass line around uh, while staying with what the vocal is supposed to be behind so the basic simple chords are just across the alley from Alamo lived a pinto pony and a Navajo who sang a sort of Indian hidey ho to the people passing by but that gets kind of boring you know so Western swing is all about the passing chords and um, which just adds to it goes with the melody and it adds to it across the alley from the Alamo lived a pinto pony and a Navajo who sang a sort of Indian hidey ho to the people passing by so I'm just um, inner I'm uh, using in interchanging um, certain chords that are I guess interchangeable and it, it adds more to it, it makes it more interesting. Okay. Like sub like sub chords. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's what I was looking okay. for. All right, very good. So if some uh, you're fairly young. Twenty one. You're twenty one. Uh huh. Okay, so what would what would you talk to people about of your age or younger who have never experienced Western swing or know anything about it? How would you describe it to them and how, how would you encourage them to begin to listen to it? Um, I would describe it, for me, it's, it's this sound. You don't hear anything like it anywhere else, and it just totally gets my blood pumping. I mean, if, and they need to go listen to, you know, Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys, if they can get good recordings of it. Um, and, and then, some of the swing bands that are nowadays, if you go see a band live and hear them play Western Swing, there's just like nothing like it. You'll never be the same again. So I would encourage them to do that. And, you know, whether they dance or whatever, the first time I saw the Time Jumpers, it was just like, I almost got emotional when they started playing. It, there's just something about that Western Swing sound. Now you have several albums that are available, correct? I do. Tell me about those, please. Um, my latest CD is called Down the Trail, and I released it last uh, year, and I have a CD before that called Let Me Ride, and they're both available on my website, kristenharris.com. They've both won awards, and um, so, yeah, K-R-I-S-T-Y-N-H-A-R-R-I-S.com, and they're on iTunes and Amazon and all that for download, too, so. Thank you. Yes, thank you.